Hey guys, welcome to another Anki Aron Guide video. There is no area within Anki that is as heavily targeted by add-on authors as the answer button area. If I had to take a guess, I would say that there are at least 20 to 30 different add-ons that just modify this small section of the app. And the reason for the reasoning for this is pretty obvious. I think there is nothing more important to Anki than actually reviewing your cards and rating them. So for that reason, over the years, a lot of authors have come up with ways in which that specific workflow can be adjusted to their specific needs. And in this episode, we want to take a look at three different uh, major add-ons that can modify this area for you. Specifically, I want to cover two in detail. The first one being the right-hand reviews with JKL semicolon add-on, and the second one being the answer remap add-on. As the third point in this video, I want to showcase a few other similar add-ons that are that also can provide you with some adjustments to your workflow that are similar to the add-ons I've showcased before, but which I think are not as important, but can still be useful. So I want to just quickly showcase them without going into too many details. Okay, let's start off with the right-hand reviews add-on. Now this one is quite simple and uh, easy to understand. By default, when reviewing your cards in Anki, you can rate them through two different methods. You either press the buttons down here with your mouse, or you use the shortcuts that are assigned to them, which by default are one, two, three, and four, if there is a fourth answering option. Now what this add-on does is that it adds a secondary pair of assignments. So instead of just having the ability to use the number keys to answer your cards, you can also use the J, K, L and semicolon keys. Now, what is the advantage of this? Well, if you're using your keyboard uh, without looking at it, if you're a touch typist, then your hands will automatically naturally rest on that row, on the J, K, L row. Specifically, that's exactly where your uh, right hand will be positioned. So by using this add-on, you will not have to move your hands at all, but can just simply answer your um, cards by using your right hand in its uh, resting position. The second thing you might have already noticed about the reviews I've done so far is that I didn't really press the space key. And that's because with this add-on installed, you do not have to use space or return to show the answer side, but you can actually just use the JKL keys. So for instance, if we're looking at the question side of this card, if we now press the K key in the first step, we will see the answer side. If we now press the K key again, it will then rate the card as that specific rating. So in this case, heart. So once again, a small adjustment to your workflow that can have a big impact if you do a lot of reviews because you do not have to move your hands around. You can just use your fingers of the right hand in the, uh, the resting position and just speed through your reviews without having to give any thought to where you have to position your hands, which button you have to press, etc. So that's as far as the JKL hotkey add-on is concerned, as far as its use at least. There is one quick thing I wanted to cover as far as adjusting, as far as adjusting this add-on is concerned. Um, the problem with all of these add-ons really is that they are mostly um, oriented towards a English keyboard layout. And that's, of course, uh, no wonder because most Anki users use our um, English or either American or um, from the United Kingdom. So the problem is that in many other countries, the keyboard layouts differ a bit. So for instance, on the German layout, you do not have the semicolon at that position, but rather you have an umlaut key, which is uh, this one right here, the Ö character. And for that reason, if I install this add-on and just try to use it, I will not be able to use that fourth answering option. Now, how can I address this? Well, by modifying the source code, as we saw in so many occasions before. I will quickly demonstrate how you will have to do this, because it's a bit more tricky than you might be thinking. So once again, we'll try to find the right-hand reviews entry in the add-ons menu, then click on edit to uh, display this small text editor that is built in to Anki. And there are two things you have to do here. First, you have to copy this sequence right here and paste it at the top of the add-on. Now, don't worry, I will also paste it into the add-on description so you will, you will not have to type it out manually. Now, this sequence will allow you to adjust the variables inside the code to 
contain any type of character you can think of, not just Latin characters, but also things like the umlaut we just saw before, or for instance, um, Cyrillic letters in the Cyrillic alphabet, or the Greek alphabet, or Arabic, etc., anything that is not Latin. Okay, so having done that, we will then go over to study the actual source code. As you can see, this is just a sequence of different conditionals that check whether the key that is registered is um, is a specific key. For instance, if it's the J key, the K key, the L, or the semicolon. So, as you might have already figured out, the only thing we have to do now is just replace the sequence between these quotes to a character of our choosing. So, in this case, I would replace this with the Ö character. And this is not restricted to this, to just adjusting one single key. You can just set these to anything you like. So, if you would like to set these up to be assigned to the ASDF keys, for instance, for your left hand, then you can do this as well. So, with this, um, with this add-on, you can pretty much just customize the answer keys however you wish. Here, there are no bounds. So, just whatever configuration you'd like, you can just adjust by replacing all of these different um, different key assignments in here. Okay, so having done that, having set up our custom assignments, we can then, then just save the add-on and restart Anki. And we should now see that we can actually use the umlaut character on the keyboard to answer our questions. And as you see, it works. So yeah, that's as far as the JKL hotkey add-on is concerned. Let's move over to the next one, the answer remap add-on. For this, I will just have to quickly install it. Once again, if you are installing an add-on, you just have to copy its uh, add-on code, go into the Tools menu, find the Install Entry, and paste the add-on code in, and that's it. I will also be uninstalling the JKL add-on so that they don't interfere with each other and so that I can present the effect of the Answer Remap add-on uh, by itself. Okay, let's so let's restart Anki and uh, showcase what this does. So, this one is a bit more complex than the um, JKL add-on. It's not just an adjustment of the different assignments, but it changes the logic and how they are processed. So let me explain this quickly. Um, one of the main problems with Anki and one of its key inconsistencies is that you will always be presented with different numbers of answer buttons depending on which queue the card is in. So this card, for instance, is a card in the new queue. And for that reason, you are provided with three different options. Again, good and easy. But if you're looking at a card that is in the review queue, like this one, you will see that you actually have four different options. And in some rare instances, which I can't showcase right now because um, I don't really have a card that fulfills that criterion, but in some rare instances you are also presented with just two different options. Usually you see them when you are relapsing from a, um, a failed card. So depending on which card you're looking at, you're either, you either have two options, three options or four options. What does this mean for answering cards? Well, it means that depending on which card you're looking at, if you press the 3 key, for instance, you will either answer the card as good, as easy, or you will not be able to answer it at all because the card only has two different answer buttons. So that is something that I feel is very inconsistent about Anki, and that is something that can get annoying very fast. Because we're, um, if you're a touch typist, you're used to not having to look at your keyboard and having to study which um, key exactly to press. but with this inconsistency in Anki, you're forced to always take a look at the answer buttons, figure out how many you're looking at, and then decide on which key you have to press. So in this case, for instance, you would have to press 2 to mark the card as good. Whereas if you were looking at a, uh, at a card with four different options, like this one, if you were to press 2, it would be hard. So here you would have to press 3. And that's where this add-on comes in. Just to give you a quick summary of what it does, and make sure that at least two keys on your keyboard are always consistent, and that is the one key and the three key. With this add-on installed, anytime you press one, it will always correspond to again. Anytime you press three, it will always correspond to good. So, instead of having that inconsistency where you always have to 
um, decide which button exactly to press. This one allows you to just not have to worry about it and just be able to press whatever button you want to um, just get that option that you are after. Now the answer key add-on does or the answer remap add-on does have a few issues. If you look through the reviews you'll see that it does in some cases interfere with other parts of the answering experience. For instance, some users reported that the answer buttons did not work properly after that or that the spacebar did not work uh, properly. I did not experience this personally, uh, but then again, I am not using this add-on for myself. I use a more customized version, so I can't really say for sure if these issues exist or not. But um, the one thing I can say is that this remapping of answering options can really have a major impact on your workflow when you're going through your review. So I will just give you give it a try, see if it works well for you. If there are issues with the answering buttons, that might not even be relevant to you because you're probably just using your keys on your keyboard to answer these questions. So in that case, these issues reported by the users you saw in the reviews might not even be important to you. Just give it a try and I think you will like it. I think it will provide you with a lot of, um, will just make the entire experience far more consistent than what it is by default. So yeah, that's as far as the answer key remap add-on is concerned. So as the last part of this video, video I, want, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of other options that are out there, other ways in which you can adjust the different uh, the, the way in which these answer keys behave. And there are quite a few out there, and, just, and I just wanted to give you an overview of what each of these does. The first one is the handy answer keys shortcuts add-on. Now this one, as you see, also allows you to use the JKL and semicolon keys to answer your reviews. But the main difference to the uh, right-hand reviews add-on that we saw before is that this one answers the question immediately. So if you're looking at the question side and press the L key, for instance, it will immediately give it a rating of good, for instance, if it had four different options. Um, the reason I am not recommending this uh, in contrast to the right-hand reviews add-on is because I don't think it's a good idea to directly answer these questions. I think it's important to actually see the answer, review it, even if you know it, and um, especially if you're using additional fields to provide you with extra remarks and extra notes, I think it's important to take a look at them. Even if a question is incredibly easy, just seeing that answer can already help reinforce that memory. So that's why I did not recommend this at, as, the first, uh, as my first recommendation. But um, depending on your workflow, this might be something that you might be interested in. So once again, as with all of these add-ons, just give it a try, see if it works with your workflow and then see if this is the one you would like to have. One advantage of this add-on is contrasted to the right-hand reviews add-on is that it also adds an additional shortcut, which is Z as undo. By default, you have to use Control plus Z to undo a review in Anki. By just having Z, it's a bit easier. So that's one small advantage of this one, which I wanted to highlight. Okay, let's move on over to the next add-on, which is similar to the answer key remap add-on. And that's this one, the key cascade add-on. So this also changes the behavior um, of your answer keys depending on the number of buttons you're looking at. But uh, the main thing this does really is that it um, interprets a key press that is higher than the actual number of buttons as the highest button available. For instance, if you have two different answering options, again and good, and you press the four key, by default, Anki would not do anything. But with this add-on installed, if you press the four key, Anki will interpret this as having pressed the two key, so as having chosen the good option. However, this add-on does not improve the consistency as far as which option is good and which option is again is concerned. So that's where the right where the um, answer key remap add-on provides you with just a bit more consistency by always assigning the uh, again key to one and always assigning good to three and that's something that the answer key cascade add-on does not do but once again this might be more um, ak akin to your workflow so this one might be something that you actually enjoy more so just give it a try and see if it works for you 
And the last add-on I wanted to just quickly highlight as well is this uh, numeric key keypad remapping add-on. So what this does is it adds you it adds um, some additional hotkeys that are assigned to your numpad, and it also incorporates the feature set of the answer key cascade add-on. So it's a combination of having the ability to answer your um, questions or your reviews with the numpad keys plus the ability to have the feature set of the answer key cascade add-on embedded in that. There are also a number of other um, adjustments that this add-on comes with. For instance, it assigns the undo functionality to the period key on the numpad and it also assign assigns the show answer option to the um, to, the, to e each of these keys. So like with the answer like with the right hand reviews add-on, if you enable this option in the numeric keypad remapping add-on, then pressing a number key would not only answer a question, but it will also allow you to just show the answer side if it's not displayed yet. So yeah, that's as far as these add-ons are concerned. I hope I was able to give you a quick overview of what options are out there. These are very workflow specific and are really a matter of preference. So I would advise you to just give each of these a try, see what works for you, give it maybe a try for one or two days, and I can guarantee you that at the end of the day you will see that these can really have a major impact on your workflow, even though they really just change very little about Anki itself in terms of code. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you make sure to stay tuned to this channel. There will be a lot of new uh, videos coming out over the next few weeks. Until the next time, uh, good luck with your studies guys and I hope to see you soon. Bye.